Now this is really super powerful to produce a really compelling and engaging video tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can record and edit videos using Screencastify. So there are many features in Screencastify, not just recording your screen. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. First thing you need to do is open up your Chrome browser and type in Chrome Web Store. So let's just type in Chrome Web Store here. And then go ahead to the Chrome Web Store, Screencastify. Go ahead and download this and install this. I've already added it to my browser. Thing over here on the top, here we go. That's your extensions. If you click on that, you'll see your extensions. Go ahead and click on Screencastify. I'm now on Screencastify. Screen record, I wanna record my tutorial, wherever it is, okay? So let's just pretend I'm recording a tutorial. I'm gonna show you how you can set this up. A Couple of things that you wanna avoid and a couple of th things that you wanna set up in order to make your workflow easy. Click on these three, um, the, you know, the drop down menu and click on options. I'm gonna show you a couple of things in options. What you wanna do is you wanna sync this to your Google Drive, okay? When you sync it to your Google Drive, all of the screen recordings that you have will be synced and saved into your Google Drive, and then it makes it really easy to import and export um, videos from there. So go ahead and do this. It's gonna ask you to sign in. Go ahead and sign in and let it uh, sync everything to your drive. All the screen recordings will be shared or saved in your Google Drive folder. So once you're happy with that, you've done that, and you've downloaded Screencastify from the store, let's go ahead and use it. So here I am, I'm just on Padlet. I wanna create a tutorial for my colleagues or my students or whatever. Now, how do I set up my screen recordings? This is what I want you to do. I'm gonna to go to my extensions, and from my extensions, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Screencastify. So here I am, I'm on Screencastify. The options that I want you to use now is don't do a browser tab recording, just record your desktop. If you record just your browser tab and then you go onto a different window or you go into a different tab, it's not gonna record that. So my go-to is to record the desktop. Now, as you're recording the desktop, you wanna record your mic, of course. It's a, it's a screen recording where audio is gonna be needed. So I'm just gonna stick with the default mic here and I'm gonna enable the webcam because I want to have that face-to-face. -face. I wanna have my little webcam in the, in the corner. So that's that. I'm gonna start my recording, and if I press and record, this is what you'll see, okay? I need to select the, the entire screen, go ahead and select this, and then press on the share button. So as I do that now, you'll see at the bottom, there's a countdown and then it starts. So here we go, a couple of things that I would like you to do is this thing at the bottom, Screencastify is sharing your screen, go ahead and hide that. We don't need to see that, go ahead and hide that. And then let's go ahead and look at the tools that we have, okay? So look, we have a couple of things. The mouse uh, options, the, pow uh, the mouse options. I can have a focus mouse, I really do like this. Can you see how it's just highlighting what's going on here? It's got this um, circle highlighting. There you go, you can see that. So that's a nice highlighting mouse. You've got the classic mouse, you've got fireworks mouse. This is maybe good for like younger kids. I don't tend to use this for PD tutorials where I'm screen recording. And then you have your clicker mouse. So every time you're clicking somewhere, it's gonna do that little animation. I really like that, that's really good as well. So when you're doing the professional PD or for students, they, they can follow through with your mouse and know exactly what to do. So for example, if you're showing someone, hey, you wanna click here, and then you wanna copy the link, you can go ahead and show that to them by using this. Okay, that's the, that's the mouse features. There's more than just the mouse features. You've got pen feature, so you can annotate on your screen while you're recording this. I'm gonna go ahead and annotate here. I'll draw an arrow here. When you pinch and zoom on your computer, the annotations stay where they are. So if I pinch and zoom here, the annotations move with my actual image, okay? It moves with my image, which is brilliant. So if, as I scroll around, I can continue to, you know, use my um, figure. Here we go, look, so this is me, part of my writing. This is my colleague. We're looking at some of the PD notes, okay? Completing sentence starts and so on and so forth. Right, so you may have noticed in the corner, that I have my um, webcam here, okay? My webcam is recording, because remember we enabled the webcam. So your webcam is recording all the time as well. Now let me go ahead and just clear the screen. So I'm gonna clear all my annotations. Let's go back to the mouse. You can at any point just pick this up and move your um, webcam wherever you like. Okay, I'm gonna quickly just go down here and stop my recording. Step two is to edit our recording. This is where the editor comes in use, okay? Go to your extensions, go to Screencastify, and this time, if you click here, you can see it says editor. 
This is a completely free editor. You're not, not paying for this or upgrading to uh, you know, a premium account. It's a free editor. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my editor now. So I was editing a video earlier on using the editor. I'm gonna go ahead and show you from scratch how you can import your video here and start editing it. So I'm gonna click on these three dots and I'm gonna go to my videos. That's gonna open up my library. Remember before in stage one, we said, make sure you sync this with your Google Drive account, okay? So here we go. Here's my actual video that I recorded a few minutes ago. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Here it is, this is the video. And now I'm gonna click on open in editor. Can you see this? It says open in editor. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So here we go, that wasn't too long, took that 10 seconds. And now we can start editing our video. Now this is really super powerful to produce a really compelling and engaging video tutorial, okay? Whether it's for your colleagues, your teachers, or your students. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna crop my beginning and my end so that I can have a very clean start to this tutorial. So I'm gonna just go ahead and grab the handle from the beginning and I'm just gonna drag it in to where I wanna start this. So maybe it was there, maybe at the end I was waffling on a bit, so I just wanna grab that in and, you know, trim it down a little bit. Obviously, trim it to where you need to trim it, don't just randomly trim it like I am. However, there are certain other things that you can do here as well. So let's just say I'm doing a bit of ermine ahring over here and I wanna get rid of that. I wanna take my, my scrubber to where I want on the timeline and then I'm gonna cut that part of the video and I'm gonna trim this um, R situation here. Or maybe I was talking about something here that was irrelevant. Again, I can take my cursor to that part of the timeline, go ahead and cut, and then trim off the part that I don't need. So let's say, say I wanna trim off all of that part. Okay, brilliant. So now I've got this video in three segments. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna give this uh, video a title. So I'm gonna go right to the front, put my scrubber right at the front, and then add a text layer. So in, under my text, in fact, you've got to select the text layer. Let's go ahead and write something how to use Padlet. Let's go ahead and highlight that, change the size of the font. There's a couple of things here you can do. I'm gonna add a background because with a background, it just sticks out a bit more and I like that. Here we go. And then you can also give it a border as well. So you can give it a border, choose a border color. One more thing that you can do is you can change the font style. So as Roboto right now, I can go ahead and change this. Okay, I like that. And then place it wherever you wanna place it, right there. And so now when my video starts, I'm gonna have this title right there at the beginning. Now, look, you can grab the handles and you can stretch this as much as you like. I'm gonna leave it there. So as I start this video, it's gonna give me that title that's gonna pop out and tell the audience what we're doing this tutorial about. There's other things as well. This is really, really brilliant. Uh, let's say we've zoomed into something here and some of the information is sensitive, is, is private information. What we can do is we can click on this video and we can blur something out, okay? So I'm gonna, when you click on that blur button, again here, look, blur. Yeah, you can blur. When you select that blur button, it's gonna add a blur on your video. So let's go ahead and use this. You can see it's created this, this blur part of the, of the frame. Okay, this part is blurred out. Let's just select it and then we can blur out what we need to blur out. So maybe this caption, can you see how I'm blurring out the caption? Maybe I wanna blur out the caption like that. And then I can drag the handles to make sure that it covers the duration of the video that I want it to blur out. So check this out. As I'm playing, 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 it's all blurred out, blurred out, blurred out. And then it goes into the next section and I don't need it to be blurry anymore. Now, one additional thing that's really super useful here for engagement is to zoom into your content. So look, here we go. I've selected this clip here. I wanna zoom into this content. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the zoom button. Again, just like the blur feature, it adds this layer here on the video, and then I can select where I want to zoom. So maybe here, I'm gonna zoom in just to that part there, and then I can drag the handles to show how much I wanna blur out. So here we go, look at this. I'll play it and it zooms in automatically. And so I'm showing something, it's zooming in, and it can, it's gonna zoom out as well. So it's gonna reset the zoom value, it's gonna zoom out, and then it carries on with whatever's going on. Now check this out. And maybe more appropriate, I wanna move the zoom here because I'm trying to showcase on this side, show how to share this. Here we go, there it is. Yeah, that's exactly where, it, where I want it. So look, okay, watch what happens now in the video. So I play the video, I click on this. You see that zoom? Click here to share to um, the clipboard. So that's zooming in. Now, once you're ready with this, what you can do is you can go ahead and export. Go ahead and just do export 
and export to Screencaster 5. It's gonna store it in your Google Drive. I'm gonna just zoom into that so you can see it. You see this, it says stored to Google Drive or you can export it as an MP4. That's gonna download the file locally on your hard drive. We're gonna go ahead and export this to Screencastify, which means it's gonna go straight to my Google Drive. So if I click on export to my drive, I wanna give it a title. I'm gonna say how to use Padlet and go ahead and save that. And then that's gonna save uh, the file to my drive. I can take this link and then I can share it out with my students. I can email it to my teachers, whatever I need to do with it. Check out these other videos that I've done on Screencastify and general screen recordings. Uh, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.